Shalom and welcome to the weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Hebrew. We're looking today at Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 24. You may recall in our previous studies that the Lord has said he's bringing the Babylonian armies uh, right to the very walls of Jerusalem uh, to chasten them, to punish them for their idolatry and disobedience. And in our verse today, Jeremiah is going to be, so to speak, putting words into the mouths of what the people will be saying at that time when, when, the, uh, when the siege begins. So let's go ahead and uh, read this verse in Hebrew. It's an alarming verse. Shamanu et shom'o rafu Yadenu, Sara Hechezikatnu, Hil Kayoleda. Shemanu. So we start with that. We have a, what do we have here? We have a perfect. And it's going to be a first common plural. It's going to be a cow from our verb Shama to hear. So with this uh, a formative ending on it, we have heard. And what is it we have heard? We have heard the, well, you can see we have a cognate noun here. We have heard its or his hearing, so to speak. This is a noun uh, uh, usually written with holm. This is a, a common tattoo here, so it's usually written with a holm, shoma, which means a, a report or that which is heard. So report of him uh, or his report, but report of, of what? Uh, referring back basically to the, uh, to the Babylonian armies. We have heard the report of their arrival uh, around the city, the fact that they are attacking the city now, laying siege to the city. So this is what we have heard. And what's happened as a result of that? Well, rafu. So what do we have here? We have another perfect. This time it's a three, uh, third common plural. Again, it's a cow from the verb rafa. Again, this time with a hay at the end, but that final hay drops off, uh, just leaving just leaving the um, superformative that, that's there. Uh, and the subject of this verb is this plural noun over here, yadenu, which is our hand. You see yad, which is hand. You see this yod here, which is uh, representing the plural. And uh, instead of uh, having a full plural, yad, yadayim, which would be actually a dual, we will have it this time with a pronoun suffix, because this is a suffix, this is the first first common plural suffix. Uh, so our hands, so our hands, and rafa means to, to be loose, to be slack. So our hands have gone slack, our hands have been loosed. And that's an expression which means to, to lose heart, to lose all of one's courage. Our courage has failed us at this point, once we've heard this report. Then sara, which is a noun which means distress or trouble, feminine noun. And then we have this one word here that's just kind of tricky because it's a long one that looks like it's got a lot of stuff onto it. Um, you have a hey at the beginning. That's going to be a hey prefix. We have a new at the end. That's going to be a suffix. It's going to be a, a third. Uh, no, pardon me. Not a third. It's going to be a first common plural suffix. Again, for us. And then we have hazikat. Well, we have this tau here, and that's an affirmative or a affirmative. And uh, that's going to be a, uh, a three F. S, third feminine singular, and then you see the verb hazak, um, actually with a hate, zion, and, and a kof here. And this is going to be a hifiel, and you can see that because we have this he prefix. Uh, it doesn't have the regular hirik because of the, the hate and, uh, coming right after it. You do have a hirik here, so you, good, good signs of a hifiel. And hazak, in, which in the cow means to be firm, to be strong. In the hifiel means to, to make something firm or to take hold of something, to grasp and seize it. And the subject, because you have a 3FS here, the subject is saha over here, which is a feminine noun, so that's why we have the 3FS. So, distress or trouble has seized us. Uh, and that's what we have, this description. We are just uh, totally in a situation of panic here. Distress or trouble has seized us. And then chil, which is a noun which means anguish or writhing from a, a verb uh, having to do with twisting, uh, very frequently used with uh, the pains of childbirth, and that's what you're going to see here. Anguish, like, with our preposition, and then the, you see the article here in the pathak and the doubling of the yod here, like the... Yoleda. Well, what is that? Well, this is actually a participle, and it's a feminine singular participle. You know, it's a participle. You usually would just have a holum up here, but here we have the holum vav fully written out. But you do have the the a ah ending of it, so it's a feminine singular from our verb yalad, which means to give birth, to bear. 
So this would be like the one giving birth. So anguish or, or, or writhing like the one giving birth as a metaphor for the way the people is, is, uh, is in such turmoil, uh, such anguish because of the, the siege and the, the enemy who's coming here. So it's a, a very dramatic, very uh, scary kind of a verse here. Let's go ahead and hide our work and see how it's translated. We'll look at a couple of translations here. First of all, in the Old King James, we have heard the fame, that's an interesting word for shoma, uh, report or hearing, uh, that which is known. We have heard the fame thereof, thereof of, of him, of it, that is of the army, our hands wax feeble. Very old uh, English language there, but certainly gets the, the meaning across. Our hands have become feeble. Anguish hath taken hold of us, uh, and pain as of a woman in travail, a woman giving birth. The uh, New American Standard updates that language just a little bit, but it's the same basic idea. We have heard the report of it. That's a good translation there. Our hands are limp, wax feeble. Uh, they have become just totally loose. Anguish has seized us, taken hold of, seized us, at pain as of a woman in childbirth. And then one more closer, much more of a paraphrase with the, uh, the Old Living Bible. Obviously, they're going to be expanding it into a paraphrase, but they pick it up pretty well here. We have heard the fame of their armies. A little pronoun suffix his. That's the, who's that referring to? Of their armies. And we are weak with fright. Our hands have gone limp. Fright and pain, developing that for all from Saha, have gripped us like that of women. They made it a plural, but uh, certainly the idea, but the general, general experience of women in that time, uh, that of women in travail. So it's, uh, as I said, it's a, a very alarming verse. This is going to be the most distressing news the people could hear. But they are, even now, as Jeremiah says this, it's in a time of warning. Jeremiah is saying, this is what's going to happen. This is what you're going to be saying. God warns his people ahead of time, always calling them back. He is a, a just God, but he is also a merciful God. Unfortunately, as we know, the people will not listen, and this will come about. God's word will be accomplished. Well, more to say in Jeremiah, so check back with us soon for our next weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Hebrew. Shalom.